This past weekend, I headed up to the Adirondack Mountains here in upstate New York with two of my good friends. We spent the weekend camping, hiking, off-roading, and just kind of relaxing around the fire, catching up after not seeing each other for a while. Typically, this will be a weekend where I devote the entirety of the weekend to trying to make YouTube videos and make as many quality landscape photos as possible. However, I didn't really want to burden my friends this particular weekend with having to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning to go do a hike and catch sunrise on top of a mountain and things like that. I just kind of wanted to relax and hang out with my friends. Even though I wasn't planning on dedicating this weekend to making the best landscape photos possible, I still wanted to make photos kind of just to document the trip and have photos for memory's sake and things like that. Typically on weekends like this where I'm not trying to make the best landscape photos possible, I default to a single camera every single time. And the camera that I always use on weekends like this is a camera that I don't ever really talk about on this channel. And it's this camera right here, the Leica MD262. This thing is a beast. This is a full frame digital camera that has no rear screen, no autofocus, has no way to preview your images before or after you took them, and is way more expensive than any other camera that I've ever owned. So why the hell did I buy this thing? The reason that I initially bought this camera is simply because Leica M cameras have always fascinated me. And at the same time, I've always loved shooting film, but I never really liked the workflow associated with shooting film, having to go get my images developed and then having to scan them. And it was just a really arduous process that I quite honestly just don't have the time or the patience for. And so this camera with no rear screen gets me as close as possible to kind of the feel of shooting a film camera without actually having to deal with the workflow associated with shooting film. Because of the user experience associated with this camera, it has inspired me to shoot way more often over the past couple months since getting it than I did prior to having this camera. For example, on weekends like this where I went up to the Adirondack Mountains and I didn't really want to focus on getting the best landscape photos possible because I was just trying to relax. Typically, before having this camera, I would have never made any photos on that trip, really. I probably would have brought my camera along, but I wouldn't have really brought it out at all just because I didn't really enjoy taking those kind of snapshot-like photos just to remember a trip and things like that. I have found myself over the past several months since buying this camera specifically shooting way more frequently, whether it's just a weekend hanging out with my family members or taking photos of my pets just hanging out around the house or just documenting various moments that I'm living through day to day, I've done it way more frequently with this camera than I ever did with any camera prior to this. Now I've been trying to figure out exactly what it is about this camera that I like so much about it and that makes me enjoy using it so much. And I think that I've narrowed it down to three individual reasons. And the very first reason is just it's pure uninhibited focus on photography. This camera literally does nothing but take photos in the absolute simplest way possible. There are no settings to interact with besides the shutter speed, the aperture, and the ISO dial here on the back. There's no way to preview your images before or after you take them. There's simply just this optical viewfinder. You point, you focus, you shoot, and you move on to the next image. It's awesome. This aspect of the camera reminds me of my favorite part of shooting film. My favorite part of shooting film was always going out, making a whole bunch of photos, and having absolutely no idea what they look like until you get the photos developed. And this camera gives me a very, very similar experience. I go out, I make a hundred photos or whatever it is, and I have no idea whether or not they came out good, whether or not they came out bad, or whatever. And I have no idea until I put them on my computer and begin to develop them what they came out like. And that gives me a very similar experience, in my opinion, to shooting film. And I really, really love that about this camera. The second reason why I love this camera so much is because it just forces people to go down below and smash the like button on my videos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But actually, if you could smash the like button, I'd really, really appreciate it. Helps the channel out a ton and that would be awesome. Thanks guys. The real second reason why I like this camera so much is because of the limitations that it forces me to work with. This camera in comparison to modern day digital cameras or most modern day digital cameras is extremely difficult to get the perfect shot with. It does not have autofocus. It doesn't have live view. It doesn't have super fast burst rates that help you to capture action and things like that. You have to be very, very intentional with this camera in order to get 
the perfect shot in your mind. So that makes it even more rewarding when I do get a really, really solid image with this camera. It makes me even happier and more content with that image than I would be if I used like my Canon EOS R with really fast autofocus and things like that. It just makes getting solid images with this thing even more satisfying and rewarding. Reason number three why I love this camera so much is its balance of size and image quality. This thing in comparison to most full frame digital cameras is tiny. And the reason I like it so much because it's tiny is because it never restricts me from taking it out to wherever I'm going. With my EOS R and a gigantic lens on the front of it, I'm really hesitant to just bring it out places because it's massive, it's intrusive, putting it on like the dinner table when we're just eating dinner somewhere, it's just a massive thing to have to deal with wherever you go. But this thing, it's so easy to just sling it around my neck or over my shoulder and carry it around. It's not intrusive whatsoever. People barely notice it in comparison to a gigantic DSLR or a big mirrorless camera and because of that I bring it everywhere and also I said the balance of size and image quality because this is a full frame digital sensor with a really fast f2 50 millimeter prime there is almost no sacrifice in terms of image quality with the micro four thirds cameras and much smaller digital cameras in my opinion there is definitely a sacrifice in terms of depth of field and things of that nature because of the smaller sensor but with this camera i'm able to get a body of a camera that's almost the same size as a micro four thirds camera or at least a good amount of micro four thirds cameras but still retain the image quality of a full frame sensor so those are the three main reasons why i love this camera so much but a bonus reason why i love this camera camera so much is because it shows its age in literally the coolest way possible. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. You can see that there's all of this brassing on the camera. So this camera is painted in what's called black lacquer paint and it's a paint that slowly wears off as time goes on and this camera is made out of brass on the top and the bottom plate. So as time goes on and I use the camera more and more the paint slowly wears off and for me personally as the paint slowly wears off it's just kind of an indication to me as to how much I've used this camera, how much it's gone through, how many photos I've made with it and how many trips I've gone on with it. So it makes it slowly feel more and more like it's my personal camera and I really like that about this thing. Because of all the reasons I just listed, I find myself using this camera and just taking photos in general way more frequently than I used to prior to having this camera. I've always shot on big, bulky mirrorless cameras like the EOS R. I used to shoot on Fujifilm, which is definitely smaller, but it didn't really give me that same experience that really inspired me to go out and shoot all the time. With this thing, I find myself literally shooting almost every single day, just making photos of whatever is going on on that day. Ever since I learned that this thing existed, the Leica MD specifically, I have been fascinated by it and I've wanted to pull the trigger on it forever. And this year, finally, I was in a position where I had enough money saved up and I found a good enough deal on it that I could rationalize making the purchase. And to be honest, I only initially planned on having it for a short period of time and then selling it for something else. But I've enjoyed using it so much and actually it's taken enough of a beating in terms of the leather wearing off and the paint wearing off that I might have devalued it a little bit too much to sell it at this point but I don't even feel bad about that because I enjoy using it so much that I think it's here to stay. So I actually have a second Instagram page that I post photos that I exclusively make on this camera. Like I said, it's kind of like my documentary style camera. So I'm not making the world's best landscape photos on this page, but it's just kind of documenting the things that happen day to day in my life and on weekend trips that I do and things like that. So if you want to follow it, it's Jason Weber, but instead of a J, it's an I. So yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll put it down here. I'll link it below if you're interested in following it. So if you want to see more of the photos that I make with this camera, go ahead and check it out over there. Anyways, guys, going to wrap up the video here. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little bit more about this camera, why I choose to shoot with it, and uh, why I don't really talk about it on this channel because it's kind of the camera that I use when I'm off camera not making videos if that makes sense but yeah if you enjoyed the video definitely give it a thumbs up if you're interested in seeing more from me definitely hit the subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys next week peace